you can store numerical, character, and logical data in variables. Variables are created when you assign a value to a variable using the equal sign. In this example here, the value of 5 is assigned to the variable b. Whatever's on the right side will be stored by the variable on the left side. The equal sign does not mean, though, that b equals 5. Character data must be written within single quotes. In this example here, the character variable c has five characters stored in it, a, p, p, l, e. If you want to see which variables you've created so far, you can use the who command, and additional information about these variables can be viewed using the whose command. Variable names must start with a letter and can contain only letters, numbers, and underscores. Variable names cannot contain more than 63 characters and they are case sensitive. In general, variable names should be descriptive and succinct. For example, the variable x speed could store the speed in the x direction. If you want to remove all your variables from memory, you can use the clear command. A few things to remember regarding the limits on storing numerical data, computers cannot store numbers with infinite precision. In addition, the largest and smallest numbers you can store are on the order of 10 to the 308 and 10 to the minus 308. If a number is too large, MATLAB and Octave will treat it as infinity or INF. If the number is too small, it will become zero. So we can create a variable by saying a is equal to 5, b is equal to 6. If we type in who, we can see we have two variables, a and b. We can overwrite the values stored in these variables by simply writing another command. b is equal to 8. Now the value uh, of 8 is stored in b. You can use the values of variables to determine the value of another variable. So for example, c is equal to a plus b. a has the value of 5, b has the value of 8, 5 plus 8 is 13. If we type in who, we see a new variable has been created called c. Notice how the old value of b has been overwritten. At this point, when this expression is evaluated, b has a value of 8, so 8 plus 5 will make 13. If we now change the value of b to be something like 20, the value stored in c is still 13. This is why it is important to always remember that the equal sign does not mean equals, it means assigned to. And at the time that this expression was evaluated, b had the value of 8 assigned to it. If you try to make an illegal variable name, you will get a, uh, an error message. So for example, c exclamation point f equals 8. It doesn't like it because you cannot use exclamation points in making your variable names. Or if you say 3 fish is equal to 7, it also won't like it because you, your variables must start with a letter. We can make character variables. So let's say cat is equal to fish. The characters F-I-S-H are stored in cat. If we say whose, let's first say who actually, we see we have four variables. If we say whose, that will give us additional information. We'll learn about what all this means later in the course. For now, just know that when it says double here, this means that it's storing numerical data. Car means this variable over here. Cat is storing character data. Usually, you won't need to deal with numbers bigger than 10 to the 308 power 
or smaller than 10 to the minus 308 power. But if you did, say 10 to the 400, for example, if you did exceed those limits, you'll get inf. Or if you went smaller, 10 to the minus 400, you'll get zero. Now this is likely not what you would want, and so you must be very careful when dealing with very big or very small numbers. Sometimes you can be dealing with numbers that are within the limits, but when you divide or multiply by them, you go outside of the limits uh, of acceptable values or, or values that can be stored. So for example, if you said t is equal to uh, 1e minus 200 and w is equal to 1e 200, these, num these uh, variables are okay. But if you then said y is equal to t divided by w, you get 10 to the minus 400 and MATLAB or Octave converts that to zero. You could also say W divided by T, that'll be 10 to the 400 power, and you'll get infinity. So be very careful when you're dealing with large or small numbers. If we look at the variables that exist in memory right now, we see we have a lot of them. We can clear them with the clear command. If we type in who now, they're all gone. You cannot get them back. So I'm going to clear the screen with a CLC command. One last item that I want to discuss in this lecture. If we say a is equal to 5, we can then add 1 to a with the following command. a is equal to a plus 1. Now algebraically this is nonsense, but this is computer programming, not algebra. What this is saying is that take the value in a, which is 5, and add 1 to it, 6, and assign that to a. So now a has a value of 6. This type of command where you say a variable is equal to the itself plus an, another number is something that you'll see quite often in computer programming, and you'll be seeing a lot in this course. So now the value of a is 6. If we want to add 2 to a, we can say a is equal to a plus 2. So we take 6 plus 2 equals 8. Now a has a value of 8.